So that's the part that we've got smooth. We just built that Skyfall website. And uh, it's serving with a Go server and serving the CSS and the assets, the images, the image. So that's all nice. Now what we're going to do is try to get this deployed on Google Cloud. And we've been through the smooth territory. and We're going to hit a little bit of the turbulent territory, which means we'll be figuring it out together. Um, so uh, yeah, and the first thing we need to figure out is how to build our project to binary. So I'm going to go to Google Cloud and just look at Google Cloud and then go to their products. And I want to do uh, Compute Engine, just put it up on a virtual machine. And then at Compute Engine, maybe look at documentation. And, um, and so here's some stuff with documentation. And I'm just kind of remembering, I have to go look at my notes. I have my Golang web dev repo. And by the way, if you want to take this whole course, it's right here at greatercommons.com. Um, but here I have an AWS section. So did this in that course on AWS. And in hello, I've got this nice code right here. We're setting, these are variables for the go build. And we're setting to build down to binary to run on a Linux machine with the architecture of AMD 64. So I'm just going to copy that. Come back here, control C, build that project. And, uh, and that creates an executable binary, 87 website. I'm going to rename that to uh, Bond Sky, Sky, Skyfall. I'll rename it to Skyfall. And then I'm going to move that, move Skyfall. I'm going to just going to move it to my user directory. So now if I go and I look at my user directory, I've got Skyfall right there. And I'm going to remove recursively with force Sky because I did this earlier just to kind of get a little experience. All right, so that's uh, been moved. It's been built and it's been moved. I think that's a good step for this video is just building to binary for a different architecture than the architecture I'm on. Um, there's articles about that, like cross compile would be what you'd look for. So go and cross compile if you wanted to read a little bit more about what we just went through. Cross compiling, go cookbook, how to build executables for multiple platforms, that kind of a deal.